In this video, I'm gonna be adding a piece of content to the affiliate marketing website that I created in a previous video. I've got a review all lined up of a theme that I'm gonna be adding to bestwpthemes.info, and then we're gonna be optimizing it using the Yoast SEO plugin. So let's take a look. It's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So this video is part of a playlist uh, all around creating an affiliate marketing website. On this affiliate marketing website, we are adding product reviews and then we're sending people off to buy the products once we've reviewed them using our affiliate links. So I've created a review which I'm gonna be adding to the site and I'm gonna be adding it while the cameras are rolling so that you can see exactly what I do and how I do it. I'm also gonna be optimizing the piece of content using Yoast SEO, which is a plugin that we added in a previous video within this playlist, all about SEO and submitting a sitemap up to Google. So again, if you've not watched that, you're gonna to need to install that plugin before you get started uh, adding content and optimizing it. Remember, if you get stuck at any point, then please do leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. And do subscribe to be kept up to date with this playlist and any other videos that I happen to be doing. So anyway, I think that's enough chit chat from me. Let's get on the computer and get that content added. So I'm over at bestwpthemes.info, which is the website I created in the very first video of this series. Uh, if you've not created a website yet, please do check that video out. It's the first one in this playlist. And what I'm gonna be doing today is adding a new review that I've done of a WordPress theme. I've created a video, which you'll find over on WP Eagle, it's here. Um, the theme is called VG Venenio. And I'm gonna be adding this video to the site and I'm also gonna be adding um, a little bit of uh, content. I've got here some words, etc. cetera. So uh, let's do that right now. So I'm logged in, I'm gonna to go to the dashboard. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna make a copy of a current post and then just edit it. So I've got all the, uh, the layout. When I say post, I mean reviews. <laughs> so let's go into reviews. I've got this one here on propulsion. And that's the one I'm going to make a copy of. So I'm going to click here, this new draft uh, link. Now, if you don't have this link, it probably means that you haven't installed the plugin that I'm using, which is called the Duplicate Post plugin. Let me just show you that in my plugins. We did add it in the previous video. Yeah, it's basically called Duplicate Post, as I said. Uh, if you want to add it, just go up to Add New, type in Duplicate Post, and then it will come up and you can add that. And that basically gives you that a link that allows you to make a copy of existing content. So I'm gonna click new draft on this existing review. And then we can start making um, some edits and optimizing it with Yoast. Okay, so first thing we need to change obviously is the name. I'm gonna call it VG Ven Enio theme review. And actually what I'll do is I'll just um, publish this as it is. And then I'm gonna open up the uh, the front in another tab so we can just see what's happening as we make changes. So I just popped up this other tab. And obviously it looks like uh, the propulsion one is because we haven't changed any text yet, but we're gonna change all these images and uh, update the video and whatnot. But I just wanted so that you uh, to do this so that you can see um, what we're dealing with. And we've got this more information tab here where we can add more information. So we'll do that too. Okay, so let's go back to the edit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add um, the video. So I'm gonna go back to YouTube and then I'm gonna go to share and embed. What you wanna do is just copy the bit that's in the source equals with the speech marks. You don't need the speech marks, just that link there. I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard and then I'm gonna paste it in here where we've got this iframe link. And you see how that's made it a link. We don't actually want it a link link. We just want it kind of clear text. So I'm just gonna highlight that and then I'm gonna click remove link. We don't, you don't want it blue like that. Um, and then we're gonna click update. And if we go and take a look at the post on the front, let's refresh it. And there's the video, perfect. Okay, so let's get on and change the, the text and whatnot. So I'm just gonna go back. Okay, so I've got some text um, down here in my uh, kind of notebook. I'm gonna copy this first paragraph and add that here. What I should do is you do add some links and whatnot. 
where you can. So for example, I can link off to WooCommerce. Um, let me just do a quick search for WooCommerce. It's WooCommerce.com. And obviously to add a link, you just highlight the word, click the chain, and then you can just paste it in. I like to set links to open in a new tab so people don't leave the site. Okay, uh, that's from the old theme, so I don't need that. Okay, here are the progress bars, which are these things here. And so we just basically adjust the numbers to fit. So I'm gonna give it a 85 look and feel. Um, for ease of use, I'm gonna give it a 75. And for support, I'm gonna give it a 80. So notice actually there is another progress bar just here. Look and feel. I'm going to give that a 90. So let's update. And then refresh and these should change. Yep. All good. So then we've got some, uh, we can add some more stuff here at the bottom. So let's go in and have a look what I've got in my notebook. Okay, I'm going to put all this stuff in here. I'm going to delete these top features. Just paste it. Um, so, yeah, come some of my favorites included. And then I've got this bullet point list here. So, to make a bullet list, you just highlight the text very much like Word or whatever your favorite word processor, and just click bullets. And then we've got some nice bullets. And yeah, and that's it. And then that's enough for the text. Let me just. Um, update then if we refresh hopefully we can see that that's changed yep there's our bullets it's coming together very nicely so we've got our pros and cons here so let's go down and do that find these towards the bottom aha Let's do the excerpt while we're here, which is the little bit of text that's going to appear around the site. I generally just take the uh, first paragraph and paste that in there. Okay, we'll do the images in a second. Okay, so we've got to the more information tab actually before we've got to the um, pros and cons. For this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually head over to the sales page um, on Theme Forest for this particular product. And I'm looking and see if they've got a big list of stuff that I can just put in. I think it's towards the top actually. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it. This stuff. And then take that out, paste it in. There we go, all done. So here's our pros and cons, and I've got these in my notebook. So the pros are it's responsive. Again, I suggest that you kind of write your content offline or somewhere else, and then you can just easily put it together. I mean, you can write it on the fly if you want. I tried to do a little bit of prep before this video, which is, I know is unlike me if you've watched any of my other videos, but I thought it'd be easier. So there's four already. I'm going to add a few more. You just click Add New. And one more. Oh, two more actually. Okay, and then here are co cons. And um, there's only a couple. Some missing options in the back end, and support can be a little slow. Okay, and then we've got some other stuff here which you can set your, um, basically more star things at the bottom, ease of use, I'm gonna put four. Quite similar, I mean, you probably wanna match up with whatever you put at the top, ideally. And obviously you don't have to use all these, you can use as many as you like in terms of features if you don't wanna have stars, or if you don't wanna have bars, I mean, just, just remove it and, and you know do what you like. So here we obviously need to add our affiliate links, which is very important to the call to action button and uh, on the store link. Now, if you've seen the first video, you'll know I'm using a link cloaking plugin. So I'm just gonna open that up in another tab. And 
just having a look and we haven't got it added so that's fine let's add it now so I'm going to click add new link and I do go slash Venino. Venino. then here I need to paste in my affiliate link which I will just quickly go and get so let's paste that in there I did a quick edit I just quickly went and got it from my affiliate dashboard uh, to generate the link etc and obviously you will get uh, your links from whoever you're signed up with and whoever you're promoting you know just log into your affiliate dashboard and you should be able to generate a link um, to the product or whatever you're reviewing I'll give it a name and you know yep and click add link so that's what that's done so what we need now is just to copy that new link that we've got I'm going to go back to our post and I'm going to paste that in the store link and on the button link and also here the product service link so three times a few other things we can do while we're here uh, is set the category so um, this is a WooCommerce um, is it clean corporate fashion minimal it's kind of none of them really um, so I'm just gonna put it in WooCommerce themes I could probably add another category let's do that and let's put um, it's kind of complex so let's add it as a complex one you can obviously add categories on the fly while you're creating posts and reviews so that's done we can do our tags um, so it's multi-purpose it's powerful well it's not really multi-purpose it's WooCommerce it's responsive it's powerful it's got visual editor it's got revolution slider and that'll do for now in terms of tags obviously you can add as many tags as you like so we've done the categories we've done the tags i'm just going to click update and have a look how we're getting on i think the final thing we need to do is add the images and then we're ready just to quickly optimize it with yoast so i'm just going to go back and refresh it so we've got our pros and cons we've got our video we've got our things we've got our stars we've got the tags and yeah it's coming together really nicely we've got the more information which is good so yeah we just need to do these these top images that we've got four so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go over and have a look at the demo on theme forest which is just here and then i'm going to take some screenshots now obviously depending on the product that you're reviewing you might need to take photographs you might need to get some photos from the manufacturer's website whatever you'll know what you need to do but obviously i'm reviewing digital products so i kind of need screenshots that sort of thing uh just on a side note i use a program called jing uh, j-i-n-g for my screenshots L little thing down here that i've got very easy for me just to select um things though it does include itself um which is a little bit annoying so <laughs> i don't want to include that in the screenshot so i'm just going to actually come across here we don't need to go all the way across so let me quickly there we go let's copy that i can then capture an image and save it yeah let me quickly um get these screenshots and i'll quickly um save them and, uh, and then we're ready to upload them so yeah quick edit okay so i've got my screenshots um so if we go back to the post and then scroll down we've got these images here i'm just going to click the cross to remove these Um, the the review clicks you can set whatever number you want. This probably should be zero because it's is new. Let's go for that. The other one I'm going to remove is the featured image. So now we've removed all the images and we're fresh to upload the new ones. So let's click set featured image and do this one first. I'm going to upload file and find them on my computer. They're just here. Now Jing actually the plugin I sorry the plugin the uh, bit of software I use to capture screenshots. It captures them quite big in terms of file size. I think it's because I've got a retina screen. So I have uh, resized them just so that they're not too big. Obviously, you don't want to be uploading images that are, you know, one or two meg. They're too big. They're going to slow down your site and everyone's going to get annoyed. So, yeah, I've resized them so they're a little bit smaller and turned them into JPEG files so they're smaller in file size. And, yeah, here we go. Let's upload the first one. So that's a featured image. Then over here, we can add the other ones. Again, just upload files, select them on your computer. There we go. Let's add another one. 
Number three. And number four. Let's click update. And just gonna go over here, refresh the page again. Let's see what's happened. There's our screenshots, they're all there, looking good. Perfect. So the final thing we need to do is um, just optimize it for SEO using Yoast. So let's go back and have a look. So Yoast says the readability needs improvement and the SEO is not available. So let's just scroll down and see what it says. So what we need to do is set a focus um, keyword and the keyword I'm gonna go for is VG Venino theme review. Um, you may want to go over to Google and just kind of um, start typing like this and just see what comes up. So um, obviously for things like this there may not be a lot of research. Um, no, it's not suggesting but I'm going to go for VG Venino theme review. As I say for more popular stuff when you start typing, I know, say you were, I don't know, advertising a pair of trainers. Um, You can see that as I'm typing, there's suggestions coming up so that you can get an idea, or maybe it's a color TV, uh, I don't know, a 42 inch Sony Bravia, and then you see, I put the R there, we can see there are people searching for reviews. So you might wanna call it a 42 inch Sony Bravia review, or you might wanna call it a 42 Sony Bravia review, whatever. Obviously you wanna try and uh, make your content match up with searches, because that way you've got a good chance of getting found. But anyway, that's a bit of a side note. So I'm gonna call it VG Venino theme review. And then what the plugin's gonna do is it's gonna check and find out if I'm using the keyword in the right places. So let's just click update. So now we're getting an okay SEO, but we could obviously improve that. So if I put it in the first paragraph, so I could reword this to in this VG Venino theme review take you through everything you need to know. I'm gonna include the name again. Obviously I wanna keep this readable. But do you see how I added the keyword there and now we've gone green? So it's little tweaks like that that can really make a difference when it comes to SEO. Um, you know, Making sure that you insert the keyword that you wanna rank for in the first paragraph. Um, it's, it likes the fact that I've got the keyword within the URL. Again, if it wasn't, I could just click edit and make sure that it was. The name of the review uh, is called VG Venino Theme Review, so that's good. And if we scroll down and have a look at Yoast, we can see that it's, um, I'm getting green because I've not used the keyword before. It appears in the URL, it appears in the first um, paragraph. Um, it's got no, no follow links. It says I could do with a few more words. So let's see if we can add a bit more copy. Uh, if you would like to take a look at a site that I've made with, I'm going to include the theme name again, then uh, hang on. if you'd like to take a look at the site I've made of VG Venino, please check out Card Crush Greetings, which is a site that I made with it, so I'm just going to add a link there, again highlight, click the thing and I type in the link. Try and type it correctly. And again, I'm gonna set that as a open link in new tab. There we go. So let's scroll down and see how we're getting on. We've got 279, we need another 21 words. So let me uh, just do that. I'll, I'll come up with a quick paragraph. You don't need to watch me. I'll do a quick edit. Okay, so I've added uh, just another paragraph of uh, Jibber Jabber. And then if we scroll down, you can see I've got another green light. It says the page title is too short. So the page title is this bit here, which is the blue bit or the, the big bit that appears on Google. This snippet that we're looking at now is kind of a, a preview of what it might look like when it comes up on Google. Um, so I'm gonna try and improve it by adding a few more words. I'm 
uh, video and no that, that um, see how the bar's gone green now I think it, it likes that so I've just had a few more words that are relevant so okay Saying the images on the page do not have alt attributes. Now, I'm not sure if I can add an alt attribute to these um, images. Where are they? Here they are. Um, I'm pretty sure that I can't. Hmm, maybe I can. Uh, let's see if we can. So the alt text is the text that appears when someone hovers over the image on your page. So I'm just going to add some words again, the keyword. Let's just see if Yoast likes this. That is the same image, so I can get rid of that one. Let's click update. No, it's not going to be able to read that properly just because it's not an image that I've inserted into the po post, if that makes sense. If I was to you know, click here and then add media that way and add the alt text like that it likes it uh, I wouldn't worry too much about alt tags I mean again you might want to add an image within the content with an alt tag that may help but it's not going to do a huge amount so the keyword density is low so it wants me to include the um, VG Venino theme review keyword again um, so I can add it here see what I did there I'm just gonna it's still readable check out my video VG Fininio theme review for more details and a demo so that's increased it and it wants me to add a meta description which is this bit here which again is some text that appears on Google hopefully um, so I'm just gonna rewrite that in this VG Fininio theme review take you through everything you need to know about this amazing WooCommerce WordPress theme includes video review or something but as you can see what I'm trying to do is get, get this keyword which we're trying to rank for um, in as many places as we can uh, based on Yoast's guidance. So we've got all that green now. The images I'm not going to worry about. Uh, I don't think that's a big deal. So let's click update with green. And that's probably about as much optimization as I'm going to do. I mean, you can retake really this to the nth degree, but um, you're going to want to decide how much spend, how much time you want to spend on this. Uh, if it's a big bit of content, if it's going to be like a real hero piece of content on your website, then obviously you want to spend as much time. If it's just little bits of mobs like this one, I mean, it's never going to get a huge amount of traffic because it's quite a random uh, product that I'm reviewing. Uh, I'm not going to spend, you know, all day doing it. Now, one last thing we're going to check is the readability, which is in this tab here. And basically, it just gives you some ideas um, on things like adding subheadings. So we can add some subheadings. Um, I'm going to just rewrite this so it makes sense. Here are some of my favorites and then I'm going to add a heading so I'm just going to highlight this text and then up here where it's selected as a paragraph I'm going to add it as a heading three you can add it as whatever heading type you want and that's going to depend that's going to determine sorry the size um, that it appears on the page so let's just update and I'm just going to refresh so we can have a look at what that looks like There it is. See, that is quite big. I'd probably want it a little bit smaller. So let's just go back and make it like a H4. See what that looks like. And obviously you'll play around with it and get it right depending on what you're after. That's a little bit smaller. That'll do for now. Okay, so if we go back now, our readability has gone orange. And, you know, it's giving you uh, some ideas on transition words and all sorts of things so yeah you can really kind of dig in but I'm not going to bother on that right now but yeah if you've got a large bit of content that you really want to rank well then you might want to just work through this analysis 
Okay, so that's our review all done um, and optimized. We've got the green light up here as well, so we can see that that's all good. I'll keep an eye on it and I'll give you an update uh, in terms of if I get some ranking anytime soon. Obviously, I'll share that with you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions or you get stuck at any point, please leave them in the comments below this video and I will do my best to get back to you and help you out. But in the meantime, uh, do subscribe for more videos and keep an eye on this playlist because I will be adding more and more videos uh, as I continue to work on this uh, amazing affiliate website that I've created. So until next time, it's bye for now.